today we're going to look at learning about significant figures. Now, the first thing that we need to understand with significant figures is that significant figures is a way of representing data. It's a way of representing numbers. If we take a look at these rulers that we have here, we have two rulers. We have one ruler that's one, two, three with just centimeter marks. And we have another ruler with just centimeter marks, but we also have millimeter marks that are in between. If we look at this first red line here, if we want to measure it, we know that this line is at least five centimeters long. However, we are unsure if the number is 5.5, 5.4. It is between the 5 and the 6, and we're not sure. So we guess the last number. So we estimate that the last number is 4. So we would say that this red line represents 5.4 centimeters. So in significant figures, we always have one number or numbers that we are certain about. And then there's one number that we are uncertain about. So let's look at the next example. We have uh, this red line here, but now it has the centimeter or the ruler has uh, millimeter marks in it. So we know that it's 5. We know that it's 5.1, 5.2, 5.3. We're pretty sure that it's 5.3, but between 0.3 and 0.4, we're not really sure if it's like 0.6 or 0.7. So this last number the 6 is uncertain. The 5 and the 3 we're certain about, but the last number we are uncertain about. So that's significant figures. Now what we also should remember is that significant figures is dependent upon the measuring device. So whatever you're using to measure the substance or the molecule or whatever it is, if you're weighing something or you're trying to measure the volume of something, it's going to always be dependent on the measuring device. The measuring device. The more accurate the measuring device, the more number of significant figures you will have. So let's look at the rules of significant figures. First rule that we have is that all non zero zero all non-zero digits are significant. So any number that's a non-zero number is significant. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five numbers here. All those numbers are significant, meaning we would have five significant figures in this particular number. The number of significant digits is independent of the position of the decimal point. In this number, we have a decimal point that's located here. And in this number, we have a decimal plate that's located here. So the number of significant figures that we're going to have in this number would be represented as 3, while the number of significant figures that we would have in this number would be represented by 4. So regardless of where the decimal place is, we are still can determine the number of significant figures. Zeros located between non-zero digits are significant. Very important. Zeros located between non-zero digits are significant. So in this instance, we have one, two, three zeros that's in between the seven and the four. Those three zeros are significant, meaning this number would have a total of five significant figures. Zeros at the end of a number are significant if the number contains a decimal point. So just the mere fact that a decimal point is located in this number indicates that these two zeros are significant. The reporter, who's ever reporting the number, is trying to tell us something. So these numbers 
are significant. These zeros are significant. So we have in this number we have one, two, three, four significant figures. Trailing zeros are insignificant if the number does not contain a decimal point. So with this 7,000 with the decimal point makes these three zeros significant. However, this 7,000 without a decimal point makes these three zeros insignificant. This number has one significant figure while this number has four significant figures. Another rule we're looking at is zeros to the left of the first non-zero integer are not significant. So, one, two, three. These three zeros are not significant. This is our first non-zero number, the four, and the number to the left of it are not significant. This um, rule generally works for those um, numbers that are less than um, 0.1 to so all the fractions. Alright, so let's take a look at some examples. How many significant figures do we have in 2.450? Alright, this rule is because it has a decimal point in it, then all of the zeros are significant so we should have four significant figures here this rule um, if we have a number that's to the left of the the non-zero numbers to the left of the zero to the left of a non-zero number are not significant so this three and seven are significant, but these two zeros here are not significant. So this number would have two significant figures. The rule we have here is that zeros in between non-zero numbers are significant. So these two zeros are significant, meaning we should have a total of one, two, three, four, five significant figures for this next number. Now for 1,000, because there's no decimal point, these zeros are insignificant, meaning that we only have one significant figure. So only the one is significant. Okay? The next one. What's interesting here is we have two rules. We have zeros to the left of a non-zero number are not significant which are these zeros and because this number has a decimal point in it it makes these zeros significant so we have four significant figures in this number and this one here because there's a decimal place in here we have three significant figures so whenever we have a decimal place it makes those zeros significant the next number, 30.0, gives us three significant figures. The decimal point makes this zero significant. And the last thing is 10,000. It has no decimal place at the end, which means we only have one significant figure. So that's what we have for significant figures. Um, some examples and the rules that will follow it. So now I want to show you something with exponents. Um, students normally get this a little confused, but it's really not that difficult. The only thing that we have to remember is that whatever digits that is before the exponent is going to determine the number of significant figures. So in this instance, we have a 1.0. There's two digits, so it has two significant figures. Here we have three significant figures. The next one, we have four significant figures. 
and the next one still we have five significant figures. So it's one, two, three, four, five numbers giving us five significant figures. Whatever numbers we have that comes before the exponent, it makes it significant. So what's interesting about this is that all of these numbers represent the same quantity but only express with greater confidence as a result of the measuring device. So that's our lesson on significant figures. We'll see you next time.